G'day guys, this is just a quick video on the nitrogen cycle and how it works in your pond. The nitrogen cycle is especially important for the fish. Uh, they're going to secrete ammonia mainly through breathing, but also through their poo. Uh, and the ammonia is toxic, so it has to be processed. Decaying plant materials, like just fallen leaves, lawn clippings and stuff, are also going to break down and they're going to release ammonia into your pond. So what happens is as the ammonia is created, bacteria and microorganisms process it and turn it into nitrite and from nitrite they turn it into nitrate. Now all these components are plant foods as well so they can re be removed by water plants that are sitting directly in the water or by water changes which is what people do in their aquariums. Uh, in a pond if we get the balance right that shouldn't be necessary. So the whole, whole cycles reliant on bacteria. Now the bacteria need surfaces to grow on, wet surfaces. So rocks, gravel, the roots of plants, filter media like bioballs, ceramic noodles, etc. These are all things that are going to provide more surface for more bacteria. And more b bacteria means you can process more ammonia and nitrite, which will keep your water healthier for the fish, but also cleaner and clearer. Speaking of clear and cleaner, one of the best ways to supercharge the bacteria in your pond is through a wetland or bog filter. I mean, these filters are going to provide plenty of surfaces because you're going to fill them with rocks and gravel. You know, you're going to plant them with plants. So again, the roots are growing plenty of bacteria on them, but they're also removing the nutrients from the water. And other things, oxygen. If you can increase the oxygen, the bacteria again will process waste more effectively. So you can just add air stones um, or a waterfall stream. Just that water agitation providing oxygen into the water is going to help uh, a great deal to speed up the processing of the ammonia and nitrite again. A clear sign that you don't have enough bacteria in the pond is green water um, and that's just single cell algae growing to feed off the um, ammonia nitrite and nitrate that's in the water um, the, the green itself isn't har harmful it's just growing out of necessity to keep the water healthy but if you've got enough bacteria in there you know you've got your bog filter you're not going to have a problem with green water. So you can buy bacteria and add it into your systems. There's plenty of brands that you can choose for. Um, most of it is only going to be effective once the water is over 10 degrees Celsius. To keep the bacteria safe, you want to avoid using tap water in the pond. Uh, tap water contains chlorine which obviously kills bacteria, which is helpful for our drinking water, but not so helpful for our pond. So if you can use tank water, and if you don't have access to tank water, then you'll have to use um, a dechlorinator or a water ager that's gonna remove that chlorine um, from, your, from your tap water and keep it safe. Yeah, so that's the basic gist of how the cycle works. It's just providing home for that bacteria and keeping that bacteria safe. If you have enough bacteria and you don't kill it off, you should have great healthy pond water that's nice and clear and very healthy for your fish. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. Uh, if so, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.